Parasitic draws on today's modern vehicles can be quite challenging. Typically, we use a nanometer to complete the loop between the negative terminal and the negative cable, and we measure the milliamp draws. I ain't knocking it, but today I'm featuring a gadget that offers some advantages to the ammeter. The Wi-Fi parasitic logger. The first advantage being that there's no 9-volt battery to die on you. It powers directly off the vehicle battery and broadcasts a Wi-Fi access point, which the Android smartphone can connect to and the HScope app can communicate with the Wi-Fi logger. Of course, as with the ammeter, the circuit has to be completed between the negative terminal and the battery cable. And that will be done with this alligator clip. Now, the initial draw here might be beyond the 5 amp fuse. So, we make contact. Courtesy lights, other relays might have kicked in and the initial surge uh, will be taken up. We then connect our alligator clip and remove the cable. And our app is measuring the milliamps that are being drawn. I'm going to start the logger. The buffer on this is very large you can go for up to 240 hours if you wish. We can put the phone to sleep and the logging continues as long as you're still within Wi-Fi connection. And how far is that you ask? Well I've got a 60 foot driveway. The vehicle could be parked anywhere out there and I could be in here and there's one wall between us and we still be within Wi-Fi reach. Now some of these vehicles can take a long time to go to sleep and we could just go out and do some other things in the meantime and the logging will continue on. The second advantage that this has over the ammeter is that when we come back, not only will we know the measurement at that time, but we will have a log of everything that transpired in that period while we were away. Okay, so we're back and the uh, modules have gone to sleep and the uh, current draw has settled down. A nanometer would be telling us this, but what a nanometer would not be able to tell us is that what transpired while we were away. We can see that the current drop was not linear and that it took about 12 minutes to settle down. There are many vehicles that take much longer than that. That's pretty good here. Another thing that this Wi-Fi logger can do that an ammeter cannot is that if we suspect that perhaps these modules reawaken for some reason, maybe uh, the instrument cluster, maybe some uh, aftermarket uh, crap that malfunctions and reawakens everything, then we're able to put the logger and have it log overnight if we wish. And remember guys that this is Wi-Fi, so any test that we would perform here, we would get instant results without going under the hood, back and forth. So let's head out to the studio, I'll show you the guts of that thing, and I've got a neat little demonstration planned for you. This project is based on an HS402 Pro oscilloscope circuit. I've used the PCB 2.0 here, and I've provided Wi-Fi through this 30 pin, ESP32 W Room development board, a PCB 3.0 build as outlined in gadgets number 160 would fit in this housing. There's nothing really special about the housing itself. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, many off the shelf plastic project boxes would house all of these components. Moving along to this uh, through hole prototype circuit. It looks like this. At the heart of this project is this ACS712 current module. Because we're powering the HS402 and that current module 
from the same power source, the vehicle battery. We need to isolate the grounds. That is what this B0505S isolator is for. I want to bring your attention to this 5 amp inline fuse and that it was placed on the negative battery clamp intentionally. And next, I'd like to demonstrate the accuracy of the Wi Fi parasitic logger. I set up a small bench test here where this decade box is going to simulate a parasitic draw. It'll be read by the ammeter and we'll compare it with the readings from our Wi Fi logger. Let's start with 100 ohms, 1 times 100. And we're going to plug in the ammeter. And the ammeter says 125 milliamps. Let's substitute that with our Wi Fi logger. We get 121, 122 milliamps. Let's increase the resistance to 900 ohm. 9 times 100. Our ammeter is reading 13 milliamps. We'll substitute our Wi Fi logger. And it's reading between roughly 13 milliamps. We're going to increase our resistance to 2 kilo ohm. 2 times 1000. Our ammeter is reading 5 milliamps. Can our Wi Fi logger read and coincide with the ammeter at that low level? We'll substitute. And here's our Wi Fi logger keeping pace. This level of accuracy was attained by the low noise characteristics of the HS402 circuit, by the probe settings in the H scope database for the ACS712 module and by the auto calibration feature of 8 scope to start us off at a zero milliamp. So it's accurate and it's portable due to being Wi-Fi and it has long duration logging capabilities and it's a fun and educational build. All files and build details shared in the video description. Subscribe and like and we'll talk to you guys soon.